And here in our area, some districts are taking an extra look at safety measures and precautions on campus to see how prepared they are should a threat happen. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope joins us live in Rio Linda. And Brittany, what are campus police saying today about the measures they're taking in Rio Linda? Right, so it's really that new unfortunate reality for our students, right? Conversations about school shootings and threats, they're becoming common. And for schools like this one, every single month, they have what they call intruder trainings. And that's not just the case here, but for all the schools in this district. Inside Rio Linda High School. We have previously pre-hidden um, two um, firearm magazines within the labs. Police K-9 Bailey being put to the test. One magazine. Yeah, come here, good girl. Then another. Um, the first one being this magazine for a rifle with ammunition in it. The Black Lab, just one tool the Twin Rivers Unified School District Police Department is using to protect students and staff. Right now across the district, there's 1,500 of these cameras installed across all the sites. But at the end of the district's current project, there's going to be 5,000 new and improved ones. Chief David Lugo points to these devices, lock blocks with one click. It's on all the doors throughout the campus. Anyone inside a classroom or office can make sure no one from the outside can get in. Even if they have a key. Principal Paul Orlando says his main safety concern is finishing the new fence around the entire school. We always want to be make a safe campus as possible. Right now we got our fence being put up, the parameter of the fence. Uh, we're, a few, we're probably about a month away from getting that complete. Should Chief Lugo says this is the last high school in the district to have its gate fully installed. We asked if it will always be locked or if a staff member will be standing by during class hours. Usually it just depends on the school site and the environment, depending on if they're going to keep the gate locked the whole time. This one is new, so we're working with the school site admin to coordinate how that's going to look. Other school sites, yes, uh, I've been to a couple of the secondary schools where it's locked all the time. And back out here live, we're actually able to show you a chunk of this fence that is completed. I want you to look at this. Inside each of these fences, they have that push gate. So that means if there's an emergency inside, teachers and students won't get locked and they can push this and run right out. So coming up at 6 o'clock, we're talking to parents about these safety measures and we ask them if they feel safe sending their kids to school.